on the day that you and I die, and if God allows that we make it to heaven, do you know what's amazing? If family members do not make it, you and I will never know because their names will not be part of our memory because you cannot be sad in heaven. So therefore, you and I will have no recollection of them for there is no book of death. There's only a book of life. What I'm trying to tell you is that's the power he's bringing to the table. He's trying to tell you that your name must be in the book of life. What you and I need to do is to make sure our name is in the book of life. Listen to what I'm telling you. You've got to do the right thing the right way. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is that you and I make it to heaven. Nothing else matters. The money does not matter. Your 401k doesn't matter. The camp doesn't matter. The cars and the house do not matter. The only thing that matters is that your name, my name, is written in the book of life. Because someday we're going to stand before him. It's paramount that you and I do the right thing the right way. It's paramount that you and I learn the commandments. Because I can assure you that you're not going to learn the commandments after you get there. You're going to have to learn them before you get there. Because some of them preclude you from making it. If you want to know you're doing the right thing the right way, ask yourself before you respond in an email, before you respond in a text message, before you write or send something or you respond, I'm begging you to make sure you take the time to do the right thing the right way. The past has no string on you. It never did. Don't you see? The devil uses the past to keep you walking backwards through life, hitting everything in the way so that you don't turn around and face where you have to go. The past does not dictate your future. Every saint has a past. Every sinner has a future. He's got to get you to look backwards. What happened last week, last month, 10 years ago, five years ago? As if somehow or another, he's got a string on you. He never had a string on you. He hates you. All he wants to do is distract you. So your name is not in the book of life.